is 9 News Now. No, I think that at Virginia Tech, if one of those kids in one of those classrooms was packing heat, I think that that would not have happened. In Northern Virginia, our hottest local race just got that much hotter. The issue is guns and the Virginia Tech massacre. The candidate you just heard is Keith Femian, the Republican gunning for incumbent Jerry Connolly's seat in Congress. Derek McGinty is our man with the story. Well, tonight, Leslie, we see Keith Femian apologizing for the comments he made on that local television show. He appeared on Channel 50's News Plus program, and Femian said when it comes to stopping the slaughter at Virginia Tech, the answer would have been more guns on campus, not less. I think that at Virginia Tech, if one of those kids in one of those classrooms was packing heat, I think that that would not have happened. There are it is illegal to, for, for, for students to carry guns yeah, into uh, the campus. You know, the, the, the perpetrator of that crime would have thought twice before walking into a classroom if he thought there was any chance of someone being armed and preventing him from doing that. All righty then, but this afternoon, we saw Femian quickly backpedaling away from all that. His spokesman told me what you just saw there was an offhand remark which did not, in his words, take into account the gravity of the situation. Now, Femian's also under some fire from a national gun control group for refusing to take a position on Virginia's so-called gun show loophole, which allows people to get firearms at a gun show without having a background check. Well, the spokesman insisted several times that while Femian does want to keep guns out of the wrong hands, the gun show thing is what he called a state issue, and he refused to be pinned down on how he would solve that issue. So he's backing away from the comments now, but has there been any fallout? From well, I, now, you know, that's an interesting point. I have not heard any actual fallout, but you definitely got the sense that he knew that that's a very sensitive thing at Virginia Tech, and that if you talk about bringing more guns on campus, that's going to have a lot of people upset, and in a very... I think that at Virginia Tech, if one of those kids in one of those classrooms was packing heat, I think that... That would not have happened. Keith Fimian made the remarks during an appearance on Channel 50. A spokesman for the Republican candidate for Virginia's 11th Congressional District now says, quote, it was an extremely inappropriate choice of words for which Keith Fimian apologizes. Keith does not want to change Virginia's law, which prohibits guns in classrooms. Keith Fimian wants to make sure gun laws are fully enforced and that guns do not get into the hands of criminals. Omar Samaha became a gun control advocate after he lost his sister Rima in the Virginia Tech tragedy and will soon appear in a commercial criticizing Femian's stance on guns. Feel that way, but that's kind of a knee-jerk reaction to what happened. Um, in terms of what we're saying, we're saying let's prevent that situation from even occurring. Let's prevent students from even having to feel like they need to carry guns to class. Jim Snyder, a passionate advocate for Second Amendment rights, says Femian's Channel 50 comments echoed something he has long believed. I just have no idea how many people could have been saved and could have been here with us today uh, had somebody been armed and able to defend themselves. And it's, it's not something that you treat cavalierly, but it's something that, uh, as a last resort, it's very worthwhile. Sparks were flying today between Congressman Jerry Connolly and his challenger, Keith Fimian. In two separate debates, they sparred over taxes, stem cell research, health care reform, and abortion. But as Peggy Fox reports, it was a question posed after the debate that one candidate did not want to answer. Not only is Keith Finian running for office, he's running from the media. He does not want to answer any more questions about guns or the gun show loophole. Should anybody who buys a gun There's at a gun show be subject to a background check? It's a simple well, question. And, and it's a yes no, or no. And in answering, I've, I've, I've said that I agree with what Senator Webb and Senator well, Warner you, have said. What do you think? Which I agree with them, which is that, that dealers should do background checks at these gun shows. But licensed dealers are already required to do background checks at gun shows. Closing the loophole would force everyone else who sells guns at gun shows to do background checks. Simeon's opponent, Congressman Jerry Connolly, supports closing the loophole. Guns became an issue in this race after Simeon said this in a recent interview. You know, I think that at Virginia Tech, if one of those kids in one of those classrooms was packing heat, I think that that would not have happened. In this morning's debate, he had an apology and an explanation. What in the world were you thinking? And what are you going to say to the grieving families in Fairfax with that kind of intemperate and extreme remark? Again, my, my heart goes out to those poor families. What I meant to say was that had there been security guards um, on campus, the, the assailant 
would have thought twice and it may have been prevented. He showed his true colors. We understand what he's saying, and he can't go back on that now. Colin Goddard survived the Virginia West. Tech shootings. He says he's offended by Thymian's statement. Even though Keith Thymian has apologized for saying a student packing heat could have stopped the Virginia Tech shooter, the suggestion has been made many times by gun rights advocates. But police organizations say it would have made their job more difficult and could have led to more deaths. If they would have seen anyone in that building with a gun, they would have taken him down. Goddard is now working for the Brady campaign, trying to close the gun show loophole. Peggy Fox, 9 News Now. Comments about the shootings at Virginia Tech are reverberating in a Virginia congressional campaign. Keith Fimian and Jerry Connolly, the major party candidates for the 11th district race in Fairfax and Prince William counties, debated twice today on the radio. Fox 5's John Hinrahan attended both debates. At two different radio interviews, Republican congressional candidate Keith Fimian apologized for comments made on Channel 50 last Sunday about the 2007 massacre at Virginia Tech. I think that at Virginia Tech, if one of those kids in one of those classrooms was packing heat, I think that that would not have happened. Keith Fimian is now backing away from endorsing the open carry of guns on college campuses. It was a horrible choice of words, and um, I, you know, I regret it, and I um, apologize for it. His opponent, Democratic incumbent Jerry Connolly, doesn't buy the apology. No, I, I think he got caught in an honest moment, frankly. Uh, this is part of a pattern of extreme views on a whole wide range of issues. The two candidates for Virginia's 11th Congressional District also hold diametrically opposing views on legal abortion. Connolly used the radio debates to point out that Fimian wants to essentially make abortion illegal under virtually all circumstances. I think it's a very inhumane position. Right. When a woman is raped, she should not be forced to carry that baby to term against her will. I happen to believe every life is sacred, and I'm not going to change because I'm running for Congress. After one of the radio debates, reporters tried to ask Femian about the gun show loophole that allows individual sales without background checks. Dealers should do background checks at these gun shows. What about so non-dealers who sell at gun shows? John Hemrahan, Fox 5 News. Shaking things up in Northern Virginia's tightest congressional race. GOP businessman Keith Finnegan is waging a strong challenge against incumbent Jerry Connolly. National Republicans are aiming for an upset there, but as Julie Carey reports, Finnegan's comments have put him on the defensive just four days from the election. I think that at Virginia Tech, if one of those kids in one of those classrooms was packing heat, I think that... That would not have happened. That was the statement that abruptly turned the focus in Virginia's 11th District Congressional race to the issue of gun control. Yesterday, when Democrats spotlighted the clip on the Internet, Republican Keith Fimian would not comment, his campaign spokesman instead issuing a written statement. During a WTOP debate today with first-term incumbent Democrat Jerry Connolly, Fimian said he'd misspoken. What I meant to say was that had there been security guards, um, on campus, the, the assailant would have thought twice and it may have been prevented. Connolly wasn't buying it. What in the world were you thinking? And what are you going to say to the grieving families in Fairfax with that kind of intemperate and extreme remark? Later, outside, when reporters' questions turned to the issue of gun control and to Fimian's view on closing the gun show loophole, his aide abruptly cut off the interview. Until these final campaign days, the debate between businessman Fimian and former Fairfax County Board Chairman Connolly has been dominated by discussions about stimulus spending, federal debt, and health care reform. But as is often the case in Virginia politics, the issue of abortion surfaced too. Today it came up in a second radio debate when a caller asked Fimian if he'd support abortion rights for a rape victim. I am pro-life, and if one of my daughters were raped, God forbid, I would urge her to carry the baby to term, my grandchild to term, as difficult as it would be recognizing that this innocent life had nothing to do with the crime perpetrator. I think that is wrong morally, and I absolutely would allow a woman or a young girl faced with one of those two situations absolutely to have a choice. In their 2008 face-off, Connolly soundly beat Fimian by 11 points. This time, though, both campaigns characterized the race as extremely close. The question now is, will Fimian's Virginia Tech comments change that? Julie Carey, News 4.